hello guys so in this video i'm going to deal with something called the switch statement so the switch statement will help us to check the conditions of everything whether the charts or the candlestick or everything but here i'm just doing the basics to show you how it works okay so i will be using numbers so here is the template of my robot as you know and then i have a variable here my variable number is one okay so what happens i want to check the variable here okay you can store many things that you want but here i'm doing the basics so if you want to use the switch statement the switch statement works like the if statement okay i'll show you the if statement when i'm done with the switch statement okay for those of you who never saw my video about the control statement so this is just a control statement just like if statement so the switch statement you just type switch exactly as it is with the small capital letters and then open brackets in this bracket you are going to put anything that you want so i'll be putting number as my variable okay remember we work with variables when you are coding so i'm putting number here so what happens here is that i'm saying to the switch statement i want to switch the number i want to check what is in the number so i will say switch and then open brackets and then come and open the curly bracket the curly brackets as you can see them here so i'll start by saying case to check so case i'm saying if the case of the number is two then you are going to say this then you are just going to put this thing i don't know what you call it but you can see it from a distance i'm sure so you type you type case and say if in that number there is two you are going to do this this is what you are going to do say i'm saying alert and then put inside i'll just say the number is two okay so the variable which is this one and then i'm checking the variable and then in that variable if that number is two the robot must say this okay let me compile my robot name is array so as from the previous video so i'm do i'm just going to drop this array here and the robot is saying nothing okay so what happens here so what happens here is that the computer is checking the number and it finds that the number is not two it, it's one so let me change this to in fact i have error here maybe that's why the robot said nothing let's check where the error you will always be finding errors guys so don't panic whenever you see the error okay it's a part of the game so compile no error no nothing so let me put it again to check if it actually says nothing okay it says nothing so what happens what happens now is that the computer checks this variable to check if they say two if the case of this variable is two and then if the case of this variable is true is two the computer will print this will print this as i said alert but then it finds that it's not two it's one so it says nothing let me change the case the case now is one so i'm saying to the computer if the number is one indeed you are going to do this you are going to alert me that the number is one let me change inside here and put one so then compile no error you can see you can hear even the noise that there are something is happening you can see now it's saying the number is one because this case is true not false okay so let me say you can you actually you can put a lot of cases here you can say case two and then do the same thing over and over again but what you must do always you must always put the the break especially this break especially if you are going to put other cases below okay just like this so the case is two then you will write the number is two so i can just come here and change my variable and say the variable now is two let's let's hear what the computer would say let me open you can see now the number is two because the switch works to check the variable number so let me remove this break between and see what happens in fact let me put this one so that it will start here at the top okay, let me open the charts and see 
the number is two okay the reason why it says the number is two even when the number is not two is because there's no break in between that break helps to say if this is two then exit exit the whole statement don't continue but if you don't put the break the the switch statement will just keep on continuing so let's put the break and say and see if it will say it's two again so okay the number is one we're getting the correct answer because the break the break whatever simple says that if this is true exit but if there's no exit it will continue and then get even giving you the wrong numbers okay so remember this is just like if statement so the if statement you are going to remove this switch and they say if the number is equals to a uh, one in in, uh, in this there's no case there's nothing you just remove the case and this thing and just say just alert this this is how simple if statement is that's why i have made a video about if statement not the switch at first okay then compile okay and then let's open and see the number is one because the if simple says if number is equal to remember with is equal to you are going to use the two is equal to okay because equals you're going to use two equals because the one is simply taking this number and storing it in the number okay the one equals stores the number the two are used to compare okay this is programming you will get used to it the more you practice okay so with the if statement if you want to go further there's no break and stuff you just say else say this okay i have a video about that you can check it on this channel to help you do it i was just doing the switch statement here so guys give me a subscribe ask me any question about the forex in the comment below and then read the description of the video to get certain things that i do and then yeah give me subscribe guys thank you we'll see you in the next video